and we're back in Cliffside for episode 7. We've just finished sending our uh, TVs to the Arcology. So now we're going to start sending metal there. And hopefully we'll be able to finish that off by the end of this episode. Metal does tend to take the longest, but we'll see. Import metal. Alright. We might actually might actually put in a different trade depot over here just for the metal. But it won't quite fit there. And actually maybe it would be smarter to put one in here to make it for the uh No, we'll leave that one over there. And we'll find another place for this one. Cuz it's just going to be temporary. We'll just temporarily put it right over here. And then we'll make this one all metal. Maybe we'll just do two metal lots. Oh, we can't do it there. Alright. We will just do all the metal lots there. Tell it to import metal. And we'll go over to this one. And we'll <coughs> replace it with uh, a raw ore storage lot. And this will be basically just our Omega Co. Um, just feed the Omega Co. Slowly but surely, increasing our happiness here. A little bit low on drones there, but that's being produced. And yeah, that's that's why we put in the raw ore uh, storage lot. Sure, it's taking its sweet time getting that ore in. I think let's try converting these back up to medium density, uh, these little entrances, and see if that helps. See if that helps get everything moving through the industrial section a little bit easier. I think we'll put these back up to this one, at least back up to medium as well. And this one. And that one already is medium. So 
Just a little bit of bottlenecking, but it's not too terrible. And this cleared up a lot, but really quickly, and it's helping to clear this up too, so I think that's good. Let's check our trade stuff. Hopefully we have yeah, better movement of all of that than we do. See all of our metal getting over to the arcology. Which is exactly where we need it to go. backs up so much on the arcology and then just <laughs> takes forever for those trucks to get back so it's tough to do more than one resource at a time if you're doing it from one city Traffic seems to be moving a little bit better with these as medium. You can see them coming down here pretty quickly. Still just a lot of people in the city. See how people are using buses. Still only 4,000 using buses. It's kind of, kind of low. Maybe we'll put a couple of bus stops over here. See if we can get some of these people to commute. down the end of the road here. Otherwise, it's really, there's bus stops from going everywhere in the city that people need to be. In fact, we'll put one back here, too. And that should, that should cover most of the most of the um, tower as well. Still have lots of shoppers doing great. Now, worker shortage is obviously mostly in the medium and high wealth. Not enough Omega. It was probably from our shortage earlier. Should have a bunch of metal trucks coming back now. You can see them all filing out of the arcology. Could put another mega tower in to give us some medium wealth workers. I don't know that I want to do that. I kind of just want to upgrade some of this stuff down here. Let's do that. Let's take out these bus stops and let's do what I was originally talking about, having this whole front area high, de uh, uh, high wealth, high density. Uh, and they don't like bus stops, it, it kind of ruins the wealth level in the area. There we go. 
That should be all the bus stops there. Yeah. Let's see what fits here. Um, I'm not sure what I want to put in. I'm fine with futurized stuff, but it, this one's so big. I don't want to put that in. Let's do... Let's just go to these uh, little fountain plazas. I'll just take this as far along the road as it'll let me. Which seems to be right about there. And we'll do the same over here. We'll end up changing this around over here though later because it's gonna we're gonna put a um, we're gonna put a um, ferry terminal in over here. So actually maybe we'll start with this and see how, how far this gets us. Not very far. Okay. So we just have this middle section that's not quite going high density yet. Or high, uh, high wealth. So let's take this. Seriously? Why don't I have any snap? Oh, because I'm on add. There we go. So let's take this and just go right up the side here. Or actually, let's put one of these uh, walkway things in. I like the way these look. Although that doesn't help our wealth level out enough. So we'll probably have to do two of the little ones. Sometimes it works out that way. That the, um, you know, two smaller parks give you more wealth than one larger park. Or, or better coverage, I should say, for wealth. There, see, it actually covers the whole area now. And then we're also going to bulldoze this mayor's house, because we're going to move it again. <laughs> we'll put the mayor's house... What's over here? Ah, oh, we got enough high wealth to build the academy, but I'm not going to in this city. Let's see here. Maybe we'll put it just right out here at the edge. Yeah, that'll work perfectly. There we go. I don't know why <laughs> nothing was growing in there for a minute. Oh, is our team uh, metal coming? It's taking a little while still. <clears throat> Got a whole bunch trying to get into the archaeology right now. Which hopefully will speed up soon. For some reason it, it does it in cycles for the archaeology. Every like 
three o'clock or something it cycles people through you know when it's building which is which is really weird and i don't understand it but i'm sure they have a reason to do it that way Making a decent amount on Omega. Still running out of ore though. Although it's all right here. Looks like the trucks are just not, they're just slow. a lot of traffic up here, I guess. This all came out looking really nice. A high well thing along the bay there. And I think we'll still have plenty of room for our uh, ferry terminal down here. And we still have plenty of room back here for stuff. I'm definitely going to be putting in an airship dock. Um, that way we can get some, some high wealth commuters coming in. That's, again, I, I'm going to need the, uh, transportation department. So that'll be a little bit yet. Yeah, in fact, I don't even know if we're going to end up getting it in this city right now. We are overworked. I wonder if that's because of the commute times right now. Which I wish, like in SimCity 4, there was a commute times graph so you could help with that. Most things seem to be moving pretty smoothly. So now they're fine. Looks this is a problem, but if they don't say anything is wrong. Having that garbage all picked up just fine. Most of them are even getting to school, which is great.
Yeah. Just a lot of traffic. Too much crime. Why do we have too much crime? I thought we were doing fine. <coughs> well, we needed to put in the police station over here. Or the police precinct. And then we can put some of these. One of these. Actually, we need to get up a little bit more. We'll see how we do with just drones. I wish you could have like drone garbage trucks and stuff, that would be nice too. Oh, we can start another research project. I believe I have just about everything I care to do done except for the School of Law, which I'll have to add on. So, we'll just start researching stuff just to have it researched. There's a bunch of trucks coming out of the arcology again. I don't know how you couldn't get educated workers. We have plenty. Not enough Omega. Yeah, we're not really producing quite enough here. Because we can't import ore quickly enough because of our metal exportation. You can see traffic through here, like, it's backed up for the moment, but it seems to be moving at, you know, okay pace. Still, it's already midnight and people trying to get back to their houses. Well, I'm going to ponder some ways to fix traffic before I get maglev. So I'm not going to be able to have maglev until I research it in another city. First mansion pack, I mean... I had several of these high wealth high rises, so I'm not sure where they're talking about there, but Let's 
says our air pollution is on the rise. Let's see what our air pollution looks like. I'm not sure we have a ton of air pollution, but it's all being blown away from the main part of the city, so we do not care. A good amount of ground pollution, too. Still don't care about that. It's all up in the top where they, it's industry and stuff. That's what they're supposed to do is pollute the ground. And we're still having trouble with our trade trucks getting to and from the ecology. Can't wait till this metal's done. <laughs> And can't wait till they're all done, because then everything will smooth, you know, re-smooth itself out. Oh, look at that. We can have our final upgrade for our trade headquarters. I don't know that I need it. And maybe I'll end up putting it over here if I can find another place for that. Because I couldn't... kind of cool to have it there. It won't fit there. I don't want it there. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll figure something out. I don't need it yet, so we'll wait. There's a lot of traffic coming into the city. And as soon as we get this arcology built, I think we're going to move on to our next thing. And I'm debating, but I think the next thing I'm going to do is a research city. So, I think, I think so. Because there's a lot of stuff that I want to do for the uh, academy that I want, that I need research from the academy. Rather. Another. Maybe not. They're upset for like a minute. <laughs> These guys are hopefully going to come back. And everybody else in here looks good. We got that one mall that. I think again that's due to traffic. The mall not being able to get full. Same there. Hmm. No, we still have commercial need. Hopefully the ecology will help that out a little bit too. Still so much traffic in here. I wonder if I shouldn't put another... Let's put a, a road right in here. There we go. Hoping that'll help some things. <laughs> but maybe not. <laughs> we did just mess with our profit a little bit because I uh, demolished stuff. But we're still... Still making a ton of money. Yeah, selling processors, computer, er, computers, and uh, TVs is <laughs> helps to make a good amount of money. <laughs> yeah. 
think our omega is evening out a little bit more now. I think that's what this will help too, is the transmit transportation of oil and raw ore to, to Omega from the little trade port that we have here. But a large chunk of our traffic problem is just simply we have a lot of people and many of them seem to be refusing to take the bus. So I'm not sure why they won't take the bus, but only 3,000 out of our 125,000 are. So if you have any ideas of why they're not taking my buses, let me know. And these guys, I, I, I think the traffic is what's causing that. So that's generally what that means. Um, because they're, ne they're not able to... So imagine if you had to go to work at 6 a.m. and you didn't get home until 7 or 8 p.m. And then you gotta get back to work at 6 a.m. Like that that ends up being what what happens to these guys, so. Yeah, see it's four almost five a.m. and traffic hasn't cleared out of the city yet. It's cleared out up there and finally cleared out down here. So let's watch it at 6 a.m. here. Yeah, it's just packed. Yeah, we're definitely going to do a research tower next, a uh, research town rather next then, to be able to have maglev, because that's going to help us out a ton. Yeah, there's just so many people trying to get to wherever they're trying to get to that it's just clogging up everything. I don't even have, uh, I have like one four-way intersection in my entire city, so. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, and it's right here. And this, this four-way intersection is actually, I mean, nobody goes over here, so it's really more of a three-way. In fact, I could probably not have it even an intersect there. I could do this. Cast you a little bit. Oh, come on. I want it to curve. There we go. Maybe I'll get from it from this way. There we go. Can do like that. And then we can disconnect it from this side. Then everything should still get water, and sewage can go away. Yeah. Of course, we're doing just fine on all those resources. Oh, we must have been low on drones a little bit. Oh, and we have uh, this thing we can put in now, our surgical center. We don't have that many sick. Oh, we kind of do. Let's put it in the diagnostics lab, too, just because I can. Which means we'll probably put these other things in as well. I don't think our tower is making us money now. Yeah. 
I just need to keep the traffic problem solved and we'll be good to go. Or we should be good to go anyway. Yeah, we need to produce a lot more Omega too. Just get these pile ups as they as they all go to to and from the, the arcology. It's funny. Yeah, see so traffic starting to clear up a little bit and you can see that they're starting to kinda People are getting to the places. I still say they're overworked, but this, this should be a little bit... should start working itself out soon. Well, I think a lot of it has to do with the road here, too. All the people that are on that road. Because it's still red with everybody trying to get in. Yeah, see, some of these people aren't getting home until 2 or 3 in the morning after getting off work at 6. PM. lot going out to the arcology though. See them all piled up. Yep, and you can see the arcology just started letting people in. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. But I suppose it works the same way as your city, where your city has, you know, 6 a.m., 6 p.m. commute times. I just want them to come back quicker, <laughs> the stuff that goes to the arcology. Looks like we've got a couple. Not enough Omega, yeah, sorry. Unskilled workers makes no sense because we're almost five full hats, so you should be able to find skilled workers no problem. This tower is getting to be close to owned by Omega, which will be a good chunk of profit. See this level stop. Nope, oh, they're still complaining. We'll see here. Oh, okay. yeah, he's blinking at me still. Not a lot of garbage picked up yet, but um, we're getting there, I think. It's pretty early still. Of course, the more Omega that gets out into your city, the more trash people create with the Omega, and the more drones they throw away, and all you know, all that fun stuff. Does look kind of funny with this big monolith in there, but I don't know. I think it matches the city pretty well, but especially since it matches the Omega Co really well too. Looks pretty good.
producing everything just fine. These are getting better. Not sure when these guys will move back in, but I hope soon. Okay. Still not enough Omega. Why are we not producing enough Omega here? Well, it's slowly going up per day. As you can see, yesterday we did 42.40, today we did 43.30. Slowly going up. a long time to convert this into Omega. <laughs> <coughs> I think once this level moves back in, I think we'll be good. And I may need to destroy it and rebuild it in order to do that. And by good, I mean we'll be making money on this tower again. Cause there's a problem with levels that it seems like if you get if they get down to six people, they, they never go lower. But if they get down to six people, they just don't come back from that. And I don't understand why that is either. It's one of the continuing things that just don't make a ton of sense in this game. I hope they continue to work on it though and improve it because it is a, just an extremely fun game to play. About halfway done with our metal here. Let me just send a bunch more in though. We should all be exiting the arcology soon to come back to my city. Pick up more metal and go back. <laughs> it's the way the process works. might try to optimize some of this, although I think it's all pretty well optimized. I don't think we can actually squeeze out another high density building out of the spaces that we have here. This should be able to actually. We got four on this side. Should be four on this side, right? Let's try to do that.
try to push it over to the right at the corner there. Drones, that's why that pops up once in a while. Yeah, see, so they say that there's shopping here is really good, but there's nobody moving in. So. So about half of our metal for the arcology. I think we're going to have to demolish this, demolish that, rebuild an apartment level, and hope we don't run out of power. <laughs> oh, we're really still close on power. I thought we, I thought we were actually needing that solar crown, but we don't really need it, we just use some of it. I'm gonna let that build, and then I think it's, uh, I think we'll call this a stream for the day. This waterfront area came out really nice too. And everybody's really happy over there. Hmm. Sick. It's garbage. What do you mean garbage is starting to smell? I'm picking it up. It says that we've been picking it all up. Odd, because we totally are. I mean, people, yeah, people throw stuff away during the day, but. Mm -hmm. Last a building from Omega again. 
I'm producing a lot more of it, so I'm not sure, again, particularly why we're losing buildings to Omega. Now, everything's fine. I mean, now these guys say no relief from work, so that doesn't... I don't understand. Everybody else in the tower's fine. Why are you not? See, to me, towers just have never worked quite right. It's a cool idea. Now that we're fully able to supply this Omega factory better because of this road, it seems to be producing much more consistently. I'm still doing well with all of this. I think I'm going to move one of these. Because I want this one down. So that we can uh, help, help give a little more water to this area. Not that we terribly need it, but might as well. Okay. Simple. I think they need to adjust the sensitivity on the low on drones thing. Because it'll always be like, oh, low on drones, low on drones, and then two seconds later it'll go away. So I think they, I think they need to not yell at you for low on drones for you know, a little bit longer than that. I'm sorry there isn't a ton going on in this particular episode. Most of what we're trying to do is get this arcology constructed. Probably finish it up a little bit later. And even after I'm done streaming, I'll probably let the city run for a little while to help finish off getting that arcology going. <laughs> we have some drones that are stuck on the road. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, we're going to fix that right away here. Okay. <clears throat> well, it's been a good time, everybody. I think we're going to call this a stream. It's the end of episode 7. Hope you enjoyed. You can uh, follow me on Twitch if you want to catch what I'm doing live. Or you can always watch the videos after the fact. I post them up to YouTube. You can leave comments there. I'll read those and uh, respond to them as well. So, I hope you enjoyed everything. And I will see you later. <laughs>